Hello, hello, hello. Amphred out of here, your pop culture psychic. Okay, well, it's time to take a look at Eugenia Cooney again. If you haven't seen my first reading on her, I'll put it up here. Um, I'm a very big fan of Eugenia, and I definitely love her. And the intention for this reading is to help and shed some light. I struggle with my own body image issues, and I'm really, really concerned about what's going on with her. Um, I'm not going to say too much. You know, I hope that this comes across as me genuinely caring, because I do, and I'm kind of scared, to be honest, for her. Um, I mean, at this point, I feel like everyone kind of knows the situation and what's going on, so um, remember that these readings are all alleged for entertainment purposes only, and let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, uh, some of you might not have seen this deck uh, yet, um, but here we go. So this is the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is usually a card for me of like gossip, um, distrust, disloyalty. Um, so right off the bat, the Three of Cups makes sense because there's a lot of gossip going on, but we'll go into that in a little bit. So the Four of Pentacles here, this is a greedy card. And the King of Swords is reversed as well, which is like alienating people and pushing them away. So right off the bat, I do think that there are people that are trying to help behind the scenes. Um, again, allegedly for entertainment purposes only. Um, but they are being pushed away. So I definitely don't think that it's just like leaving her high and dry. Um, the issue I'm having is the Four of Pentacles, which... I don't know how else to word that. Oh, this Nine of Pentacles is other people. I don't know how else to word that other than gossip equals money. And the Nine of Pentacles is money in other people's pockets. So the problem here is I do believe there is a... <laughs> I knew it. There's a strategy that's being used, the fool's reverse, which is don't be naive. The fool upright would be like an innocent, like angelic, you know, naive character, but it's reversed, which is a very, very serious card. Um, that's like a mature energy. So there's definitely someone here benefiting from the gossip, benefiting from the situation that is either encouraging or interested in the conversation we're having right now because it does benefit financially with the Four of Pentacles. The Magician is reversed as well. So Magician reversed is misdirection and miscommunication. Um, so I... <sighs> King of Cups is reversed, so someone that's not really super emotional. The Moon is reversed, someone who's been exposed before, so someone that we've seen before. Oh boy, and the High Priestess is reversed here, so I should probably pull it on here first, but I wanted to look at it because I'm kind of nervous about this reading. The High Priestess is uh, distrustworthiness. So, and uh, yeah, so there's definitely someone here pulling strings. I think I saw this in my last reading, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the problem I'm having here is this magician is reversed. <laughs> the magician here is a misdirection. And that means that we're going to be getting a misdirection pretty soon. So there should be some sort of... I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's another video. I don't know if it's another message or it's someone coming forward. There is a misdirection coming 100%. Um, it seems to me like it's strategic. Um, I also see that as, and I know this is difficult because obviously Eugenia has admitted that she has a, a problem. So it's a lot of it is a disease talking, but the magician reversed is usually an indicator of knowing what's going on. So there's like a little bit more of a conscious 
energy. Basically, what I'm saying is, I'm going to be honest. I mean, I, it is what it is. Again, allegedly for entertainment purposes only. I'm going to be honest. This doesn't showcase as like a lost girl who's like innocent and doesn't want to hurt anyone. This shows me someone who is probably fearful and acting out of fear and creating a character that they know they need to create to be able to do what they need to do because they're almost like stuck in the cycle of addiction. So a little bit more conscious towards the energy than first thought. So the six of pentacles, that's like consistency, contracts, dependability, reliability. And then um, we see here, I don't know if this is going to focus. Um, but this right here is the queen of swords. So to me, um, there's definitely someone that she's like attached to the hip with. Um, the three of wands is upright. I do think she's tried to separate herself from this person, but she can't. So there definitely seems to be someone directly benefiting from this financially who she's tried to separate away from, but she can't separate from, but she can't. Yeah, the five of wands. So that's about avoidance. So this card here is all about avoiding. Um, so it's like walking on eggshells, I would think here. Yep, see, running away, walking away. And then there's the hermit. <laughs> oh my God, you're stuck here. Uh, this reminds me a little bit of Free Britney where, or even Rosé, where there was like a subtweet or like a double meaning in one of the posts. Like there's some sort of, there's, it, I don't know why it reminds me of Free Britney, but it's like there's some, there's like a hidden message towards someone. Yeah, vulnerability. This might not have happened yet, actually. I can't tell if this happened yet or if it's coming. The Knight of Pentacles makes me think that it's already happened and it's going to happen again. So this card right here is the Empress and it's reversed, which is a lack of self-love. It's also mother reversed. No comment. Um, I do think Eugenia lacks a proper nurturing figure in her life. I do believe that. Um, I do believe that there's someone here that was though. There's some Ace of Wands turning a new leaf. Underdog, Seven of Wands. This is an underdog card. So this card is all about who you would least expect. The Devil, Anger, Manipulation. Someone she's focused her anger and frustration out on before. I wonder if that's Jacqueline. I wonder if that's Jacqueline Glenn. Because to me, this is some sort of message in a bottle to someone that she's had some sort of problem with before and a starting of a new leaf with that person. This is to come. The Ten of Cups is reversed, family is reversed, so clearly there's a lot of family issues, we know that. The Six of Cups is all about the past and siblings, so I think there's some sort of past issue with the siblings that have caused a lot of this. And the Lovers is reversed as well, with the Hangman reversed. To me, this is about not wanting to let go of an issue, but letting go of an issue. This is stress and anxiety. Huh, the Knight of Cups, immaturity. And then judgment is embarrassment and public pressure. Uh, so this is about in act, like not being able to have action, but the stars upright, which is like attention. 
So I, ooh, Three of Swords, Heartbreak. I think we might get another intervention here, um, or at least some sort of, some sort of break. I don't, <sighs> see, I can't figure this out. I can't figure out if it's Eugenia saying something that gets back to someone else, or if it's someone that Eugenia talks to who ends up talking to someone else, whether it be Jacqueline or someone else, and getting involved again. But I definitely see another, yeah, Seven of Pentacles is a verse. There's definitely being pulled out of the house, pulled out of the comfort zone. The Two of Cups, definitely not super happy about it, but the Five of Pentacles is about having power over someone else or responsibility. Again, it's like Free Britney. It's like you have the control. You have like, it's like a conservatorship. It's like you have the control over this person. Oh. Interesting. The Knight of Pentacles. You know, I'm wondering if there's going to be, oh my God, Eight of Swords trapped and feeling like a victim. I wonder if there's going to be some sort of focus on her financials because I'm pulling a lot of pentacles. So I'm wondering if people are going to start to focus on her financials and the way she generates income and start neutering her income revenue. And if that might be where the stepping in comes into play. Maybe it's YouTube because a star is an influencer. So I'm wondering if instead of like what they did the last time, which was like inter intervening in her life, I'm wondering if they're going to start to go towards the money source and where she's getting income and snip the strands that feed like um, her, her, her money. Um, but I'm telling you like, it's hard. This dynamic is hard for me to read because, first of all, I mean, I'm I love Eugenia, and all I want for her to do is is be healthy. But I feel like there's, yeah, there's someone behind the scenes pulling strings. But I, I don't. See, I know Eugenia is struggling with a disease, but at the same time, the way it reads through tarot is that she's not naive. I'm sure she has some naive energies, but she's not naive to this. She knows what, what's going on, and she's kind of addicted to it. And it's almost like, I feel like almost like an endorphin rush. Um, I just don't think that she's like completely 100% innocent, you know, like completely lost. Like, I'm just not feeling that. I think that she's a little bit smarter. I mean, she's 26 years old. So I do think that she's a little bit smarter than people are giving her credit for. Um, and yeah, so let's um, pull from the other decks here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull from, from the astrology deck because I want to see if I can pull what the motive is behind this whole situation. Because, you know, I pulled a lot of money cards. So I'm going to try and see. I mean, Taurus is the money card here. Um, so Jupiter is also good for lining pockets as well because it expands. It's like luck. Okay. So we see Mars here. Well, Mars makes sense because Mars is pissing people off. Uranus. I told you there's going to be a curveball thrown at her. Uh, I think they're going to go after her money. Water here. Venus. Well, Venus also represents money a little bit. But um, interestingly enough, once again, someone close to her throws a curveball. Someone she's attached to does something that upsets her, causes a chain reaction. Pisces, Libra, and Scorpio. So that's another feeling of being betrayed by a friend. So it definitely looks like the Pisces card is an illusion card and Libra is upright, which is like, or next to it, which to me means like I come together and I expose. So you're looking at another friend, I think, kind of coming forward. This friend or this person closer might end up reaching out to Jacqueline or someone else. Um, but I definitely see a feeling of betrayal for her. Yeah, the Earth card. It's someone who's been around for a little bit. Um, okay, so let's pull from the Dark Mirror Oracle deck and then I don't want to read this too much because... 
the last time I did a reading for her, everyone sent it to her and she got really upset and my intention wasn't to upset her at all. It's just to help. So, I mean, I already know that she's probably gonna be upset at me for even doing this, but I really do love her. A bride in a cage. I mean, I told you it's like free Britney. It's like she's stuck. Calling the storm. I, there is something happening. An obsession. Yeah. <laughs> so there's something happening. First of all, something from her past is going to be exposed. That's number one. That's that's literally what keeps pulling up is there's something from her past that's going to be exposed. Something that she did um, that um, like was brushed over, but it's going to be brought back up. I'm telling you because this is drama. Um, this is, is this me? Like, why would you do that? Forgetting oneself and addicted. So this is definitely something influencer related. Um, it's going to come back and kind of bite her in the ass. Um, and I also think that that's going to be the catalyst to try to stop the money flow. Yeah. Look, sister scandal, black flower fragrance, a child that was meant to be. Oh, wait a minute. No comment. No comment. Atonement. No comment. No comment. No comment. Child, atonement, drama, scandal. No comment. <clears throat> Gilded regret. Temple of my body is a very seductive, sometimes sexual card. So you can read those cards as you will. But what I will say is this. I definitely think that there is some sort of situation where there's, how do I put this? When the temple of my body is pulled, it usually means like there's some sort of vulnerability and it's like everyone's going to start poking it. So I will say this, everyone needs to be a little bit careful um, and they need to be respectful Um I just think that, uh, I just think that, uh, I don't know, this makes me nervous because I'm, I'm concerned. I think that there's a dynamic at play. There's a dynamic at play in her entire sort of career that I think has been going on a lot longer than anyone really realized. And I think that's where the money flow is coming. So if I were Regina, I would say to be really, really careful and really make sure you're careful about who is around you and what their intentions are and make sure you're careful about who's giving you money or how you're getting money. Um, and make sure you're really paying attention to rules of any platform you're signed up for or anything like that, because it does look like there's going to be some sort of attack on her money flow. Um, and then it does look like there is going to be another betrayal from someone close to her who I feel like cares about her. Um, but the last time we kind of see how all that went. So I'm hopeful that she'll come back around and she'll get through this. Um, I have a lot of faith and a lot of love for Eugenia. So that's kind of, um, it, um, uh, I mean, I guess I can kind of do a little bit of pendulum work if I can even find my pendulum. Here it is. <clears throat> is Eugenia headed for another scandal? Well, it's definitely a circle. So that's yes for me, a very loud yes. Is Eugenia going to break free and be independent? We're not there yet. That's a no. So we're not there yet. But I have faith. Um, that's it. Uh, hopefully you guys understand that my intention is to help here. <sighs> I'm really worried for her. And um, hopefully she can turn this around and be an inspiration for everyone. Um, that's kind of it. Make sure you guys follow me. Twitch, Instagram, Twitter. YouTube, TikTok, Aphrodite. Um, if you want a tip, there's a link to my PayPal in the bio. Um, and until next time, bye guys.